Hall's move. That's right. Or Lindsey Davis's move. That's true. That's true. And we're going to continue now with that ABC News exclusive because the jogger was caught on camera fighting off her assailant. And this morning, that brave woman telling her story for the first time about how she managed to escape. Lindsey is here with more on this. Good morning, Lindsey. Good morning, Robin. She'd already run several miles and then still had the wherewithal to fight an attacker and then take a picture of his license plate. While she says she's still experiencing a lot of fear in the aftermath, she keeps reminding herself that only one person tried to hurt her, but 20 or more people tried to help her. It happened in broad daylight. Police say a brazen assault and attempted abduction all caught on camera. Watch as a car pulls up in front of a woman jogging Sunday morning in Bridgewater, Massachusetts. A man runs toward her. I kept thinking this isn't happening. Even when he was running out of the car, I kept hoping, like, maybe is he running because maybe he's, maybe he's afraid or having a medical emergency, but when he was coming right at me, I was like, okay, this is happening. The woman, who asked that we not show her face, shared her experience exclusively with ABC News, talking about her harrowing encounter with a suspect police later identified as Gordon Lyons, who was previously convicted of rape in 1978. The jogger says the suspect grabbed both of her arms and groped her while trying to drag her to his car. It was kind of a moment of, yeah, some fear, but also this, I'm not going to let this happen. This is not how my story ends. The 37-year-old fought back, screaming and kicking at her attacker. He stumbles, falling to the ground. I saw a car pull over, and a man walked over from next door. And the man was an older gentleman. He probably didn't know what he was going to do, but yet he did it, and he walked over anyway. And that, I cannot tell you how grateful I am. The suspect then took off at a high speed, but the jogger still managed to get a clue to help police track him down. The victim here was able to get a picture of the back of the vehicle, including the license plate, and also call 911 which immediately rang into our department. Maybe it's a movie you've seen, maybe something you wonder, like, gee, what would I do if my life was in danger? And you don't really know. You kind of don't know what you're gonna, how you're gonna react in a situation like that until it happens. On Tuesday, Lyons, the 57-year-old charged in the Bridgewater attack, hid under a sheet during his arraignment in the hospital, where he entered a plea of not guilty. Although she is described as a victim in this case, she is anything but a victim. Uh, she is somebody who fought back, who was not going to be a victim. This young lady is a, a very courageous, strong, and determined individual. And you heard her there, the jogger, saying that she's so thankful for the bravery of a neighbor who shouted at the attacker and also a passerby who pulled over, called 911, and then followed the suspect. The woman was back out jogging again yesterday morning, this time with a police escort. Uh,